the children. Mm. Where they sell. Mm. Some are they sell them ten thousand. Some are they sell fifteen thousand. Some twenty are just like that and they sell them. This connection now through my friend. My friend I carry me into this business of selling children. Good day, guys. I'm here with a woman this afternoon. Ah, this woman has something to pass across to us. Please, I want you to put your ear down and listen to this lady. You will learn a lot from what she's passing through. I don't tire for this life. I they pass through a lot. In short, I don't tire for the life. As you see me so, me, I they work for, I be nurse. I they work for very big hospital. But all the expenses paid for the house. Now me, they carry them. Just because they don't shock my husband from work. Both from my father's side, though, my sister, so, now me, now in the kata for them. So, I don't tire. I need somebody to go help me. Now I make, I say, make, I come meet you. Whether I go feel, see any solution. Now I make, I come. I do work for a very big hospital. Okay. And people, they come born, then they come deliver for the hospital. Okay. When they are born, I go sell the children. When I sell the children, I go say, your baby don't die. You. The owner of the baby go say, madam, even though the baby don't die, make her see the baby. I go say no, because if you see the baby, you go to cry, you go feel all yourself. Many a times, I don't, I don't do this thing for several years, maybe one year, for many years. But this last one way I do, where really they disturb me. This woman don't born for my hospital for several times. Let me say don't reach like three to four times. Where she don't born for my for the hospital when I work. And till up till now, she still they look for her children. And anywhere when I go, I need a get rest of my no peace. Even that they eat or at the bath. Now so at the year babies they cry. Because of this last one when I do, the husband of that woman, he don't even pursue her, come up for house, carry another woman, come put for house. So I don't even know as I won't do. Now my friend my carry me go put for this problem. Every year when I go now, so children go they cry, I go sit down. Children, they cry, they make noise for my ear. I don't know what I won't do. Oh God, I beg, I need help from you. Now, because of that one, I say, make her come with you. Eh, uh, madam, this thing, when you say the children, how much you they say the children? The children? Mm. What are they say? Mm. Some are they sell them. 10,000, some are they sell 15,000, some 20 are just like that, and they sell them. Just to get money? Money, yes. Hmm. But, madam, how you they get the collection of who they buy children? This collection now through my friend. My friend, I carry me into this business of selling children. Now, through my friend, I enter into this business of selling children. So, have you asked your friend, sorry, have you tell your friend what you are passing through? I never tell her. You never tell her? Yes. So, your friend not there aware that you are passing through these challenges? I never go, only me just, I just the tired. I don't, I just, I don't get confused, I don't know what. I don't know where I go going. Now I make a see, make a come with you. I don't get frustrated. 
the way the children and they use they cry, they follow me all around. I know if he bear them again. Uh, uh, but Manda, you wicked. How can you say a whole a whole human be for ten thousand, fifty thousand? The pregnancy that a, a mother carry for nine months because it, you are oppressed, you are depressed. You say that baby out of ten thousand, some ten thousand, some fifteen thousand, some twenty thousand. Hmm. Now, according to you, one woman, you have you have come to your hospital to deliver one, two, three, four times. Yes. And you were, and you don't say that woman baby like that. That means you have been telling that woman that anytime you put to bed, the baby died. Yes. Now, because of this, your attitude, the husband has shielded the woman away from the house. Yes. So, because of you, you don't break a marriage home. Yes. Is it what you are saying? Yes. You break so, the marriage. Yes, so I need solution to this thing when I pass through. But Mama, this did not occur to you that this way you are doing, you go face the consequences one day. You know come you know occur to your mind at all. No, yeah, because of I don't get frustrated now. I make I know my mind no good aside. But now I know the Repercussion way they behind of doing evil. Mother, you get children before? I no get. You no get? Yes. No wonder. Because how would you get children if you not behave like this? So you do you do this thing. So people the people who come to give birth in your hospital. Can be the same condition you are facing. Mm. So now, this thing you are passing through now. You want the people to okay. Can you can we can you go and meet the people, especially that woman that the husband was she's out from his house, and confess to the woman and tell the woman say see what you and do that me make your mind break all, all these children. And that you give birth to during that hospital. Let me say that. Can you go to that place and confess? I go figo. You go figo. Yes. You go figo. Yes. Hmm. Uh, so the husband is not with the woman anymore for now. No. The woman is yeah. staying somewhere else. Yes. So. So who? Now, who do you prefer to go and confess this? Is it the husband or be the wife? Because I know that if you go meet the husband, the husband might carry anything that he get to his hand to kill you. To each other. If, he, if he decide to kill you, he can kill you. Because you are the one who break his marriage. Now, make I come to you. Maybe you feel follow me. Go meet and I make, I say make I come confess to you so that solution will come through you. Hmm. Mother, this cutting, eh? You do a very wicked something. Very wicked thing. But, the first of all, you are come to confess. Bible says you will forgive. But, you must first ask God for mercy. You must first ask God for mercy. Because if God don't have mercy on you, if this individual go out, and that woman hear about it. I promise you, the way you said those children out, that woman might kill you. That woman, it might take an action in one way and the other that will affect your life. Uh, but what I can help you to do now is that I will lead you to my pastor. Let my pastor. First, pray and deliver you first. Okay. Because I know you are possessed. A normal human being cannot even act the way you act. I know my pastor will advise you, but I know you will first cry, God. You will, you will first cry for mercy. That let God have mercy on you. Because the money that you are trying to enjoy, right now you are not enjoying the two of us. 
Now you don't even have peace of mind. No. Anywhere you go, when you are bathing or when you are eating, or the children they cry. Yes. Cry for vengeance. Okay. Well, I've heard what you have said. I will contact my pastor. My pastor will book a better time with you. I will call you because your number is with me. Hmm? Yes. I will call you. Let the first deliver you. But first go to God. Go and cry for mercy before the next action to be taken. But let me tell you, you must go and confess to that family. Already. So your sin can be forgiven. Yes. Without confessing to your family, the sin cannot be forgiven. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs>